Hey, right, YouTube Rando here. So in the past, I've uh, kind of mentioned in passing about the uh, hurricane totes we make. Now we do have a large tote that we keep uh, full of candles and all kinds of stuff. But we just put together a grab-and-go kit. Um, you know, hurricane comes, you have to evacuate. We evacuate to our uh, primary bug out location, which is in town. It's just a stout building. Uh, and we evacuate as a family. We all go over there together. We bring supplies. So instead of carrying the big tote, uh, we'll just bring this one. And hopefully my house don't blow down and we can always come back and get the big tote if needed. But uh, we just wanted a little grab-and-go kit that we can go with. And it's not complete yet. There's some things missing out of here like a first aid kit. Uh, we do have the home first aid kit and we would more than likely bring that with us. Um, and then there's plenty of first aid where we're going anyways. There's plenty of food. Uh, so we did put a little bit of food in here, but not much. Um, so let's just jump into it. I'll show you what we came up with. Look in the bottom here. Here's some candles. We have a little lantern, flashlight. <clears throat> Lanterns are more important than uh, flashlights in a uh, hurricane. You know, you're going to want to be lighting up your rooms. You could just throw this one in the bathroom and uh, as you go in and out you can just turn it off and on like you would a light switch that's how we've always done it anyways we just usually use bigger lanterns uh, of course I'm going to have a cutting tool and just some adjustable pliers these are some little snap on pliers that I have a couple pairs of and I throw them in different kits because they're nice and small um, now we do prep with water but Sometimes there's a boil advisory, and if you run out of water, you're going to have to boil that water. We have natural gas at our house, and it never gets cut off after a hurricane, never. Uh, all the pipes are underground, so it's very, very rarely does it get compromised, and it's never been turned off in a hurricane, so we always have hot water uh, and a way to boil water and a way to cook. But just in case, I threw in a couple small stoves, or a small Swiss stove and a can of Sterno that we could refill it with. Some more uh, of these Sterno candles. These last a really long time. You just stick them inside of a large shot glass or small drinking glass or whatever, and they last a really long time. Some matches. Here's some UCO nine hour candles. And I took this out of my bag. I no longer use it. I keep it full of fresh batteries, and it turns into a lantern. I love this little light. It's a flashlight but it has the diffuser on it, the globe, to pull up and turns it into a small lantern. comes in handy and it lights up a room really well. <clears throat> it's only 150 lumens, but I love that little light. Now in here, rubber gloves. We also prep with uh, bleach. Uh, if you get rainwater in your house, flood water, you definitely want to get that out as quick as possible. Uh, it always compromises our sewer systems and then that compromises our fresh water tanks and so forth and so on so uh, definitely want to get that water out of your house if, especially if it's full of sewage so we wear rubber gloves take bottles of bleach and just you know squeegee all the water out that we can and douse everything down in bleach and keep everything clean keeps not uh, mold from growing stuff like that uh, this is just full of batteries double A and triple A batteries what else some soap keep some good soap on hand that's a uh, waterless soap but you can use it with water uh, I don't know why this is in here maybe you had a bad day and need a good shot of tequila some tuna again foods not the most important thing but every little bit helps we keep a couple other canned hams we picked up in here as well I have enough food in here that I could feed uh, my wife and kids for three days off of what we have in here. Uh, now, I wouldn't be able to eat, but they'd be able to eat for three days. Uh, more rubber gloves. Another small bag of oatmeal. There's some Cliff Bars in there. That's three days worth the, uh, worth the breakfast for them three, uh, just in oatmeal alone. And then some Cliff Bars for extra energy or whatever. Some powdered milk. I keep these little powdered milks in uh, my bug out bag as well, so we would have plenty of milk. It's always good to have milk with your kids. 
and if you get it cold they never know the difference last two items I have the UCO candle lantern it uses the nine hour candles uh, this one's been burned a little bit I want to say maybe 10-15 minutes so it's still probably got eight and a half hours on it at least and then we have three nine hour candles for it so potentially we have four days worth of light with these at night time so I carry this in there I took it I used to carry this in my camp pack and I no longer do so I went ahead and threw it in here and then this is one of the uh, hand crank radios we just looked at the weather X radio AM FM you want weather band on your radio uh, and this is a flashlight however I don't know if it's going to show it there's a light strip on the handle that turns it into a nice lantern uh, it doesn't light you know all the way around it so you would have to set it in the corner or something but uh, it would work this runs on D cell batteries uh, but it has an inline uh, battery that you can crank on and uh, so you don't have to have D cell batteries for it to work and you can keep up with the weather and all that good stuff always keep a uh, hand crank radio in there for sure <clears throat> and uh, if you can get a light on it or something multi-purpose that's great um, so there is some stuff in here that you can see that we need uh, to get extra stuff in here I'll be taking food out as we go uh, I just like to keep the spaces full and I don't like uh, to have any wasted space so until we get those items we're gonna go ahead and keep it full of food uh, and if we do have to grab and go then we grab and go and we have a little bit of food for us uh, so until we get it full of the items we have that we want to go in here like I do want to put a small first aid kit in here uh, some more batteries definitely want to buy a couple large packs of brand new batteries and throw them in there I want to get some d-cell batteries for this and I have a hot water heater uh, that's a gas hot water heater that the igniter runs on batteries so it's not on the electrical grid and we could still have hot water if the batteries go out because uh, you cannot light that thing manually no matter what you do so um, you know just some backup batteries and stuff like that and first aid kits what we're going to be throwing in here besides what's in here now uh, maybe some more candles um, when we finish it we'll definitely update you and let you guys see exactly what we're going to keep in here and what's going to be permanent and this will be a permanent fixture in our hurricane preps if uh, hurricanes coming we can get ready if something happens and my house is falling apart because of winds or something uh, I can grab this and go I don't have to grab the big tote I have a little grab and go tote uh, but more than likely we'll already be at our location with this tote so that's going to be it for this one thanks for watching YouTube